bra is Fenty, okay? Period. Like, she has on a Savage Fenty bra. It can be shown. <laughs> welcome to another weekly vlog if you're new here welcome and if you are returning hey girl hey make sure you take a moment to stop and subscribe like this video and turn your bell notifications on so you know when i post so y'all today is monday start of a new work week for me um i tried to go out and work today because you know well maybe you don't know but what is this um i switched up my work schedule i want to start working at a cafe on mondays and tuesdays and then work from home for the rest of the week um, and the cafe I usually go to was actually closed early today to observe the holiday. I don't know why, because the holiday was yesterday, not today. Like, yesterday was July 4th, today is July 5th. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so, girl, um, I decided to try, to try to go to Panera instead, and I just wasn't catching the vibe there. I don't know if it's because there were, like, a lot of people in there. There were, like, a lot of families. Everybody wasn't there for the purpose of work, and that's kind of, like, the vibe of Xander. Like, um, everyone in there is, like, working or they're on their laptop, so it's not, like, a lot of commotion going on, but that's how Panera was, so I couldn't do it. So I left, and I came back home. Um, I got an oil change today. Georgia down here is squeaking. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty late in the day. It's, like, after 6.30. So I'm just going to, like, kind of wind down, work a little bit. I have some editing to do. Um, I do want to do an unboxing because y'all got some skims. I'm super excited because like I've been wanting to try skims for a while, but I never brought myself to do it, but I finally got some. So let's do that now. Let's, let's open my skims. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to sit y'all because I'm going to actually do this on my story. Um, but of course I want to show y'all too. So I'm going to just use the light. I'm not going to turn any lights or anything. Let me see if I can sit y'all right here. Yeah, y'all should be okay right there. Maybe I do need to turn. Oh, maybe I do need to turn the light on. Let me see how it looks on my phone. Oh my gosh, my lips feel terrible. I tried a new lip balm like Friday, and I think I had like somewhat of a, a reaction to it. But like ever since then, my lips have been feeling so like tight and dry. And like I've been trying to stay like hydrated, but I think I'm gonna just do a lip mask tonight. Um, cause y'all, they feel terrible. Like, oh my God, <laughs> I do not like the way they feel. Let me see. Okay. It's cute. So excuse me, before I show my story, I'm gonna show y'all Skims packaging is so super cute. Like, look at that. It's so cute. And I only ordered one set because I just wasn't sure about sizing. I don't know if I was saying before, like my body is just going through like this weird situation right now where like I'm obviously like gaining weight I don't know if it's distributing evenly or whatever the case is but I'm really in between like an extra small and a small but it's weird because it's like smalls are too large and extra smalls are too small in some cases so I don't even know like what size I wear and it's annoying because like I like shopping and I be wanting to buy stuff but I'm just not like 100 on like sizing i need some lotion because my hands ashy i need to keep lotion a little bit closer to me i feel like it's kind of dark i'm sorry y'all well maybe the light is just kind of going in and out here comes georgia wanting to play <laughs> can you wait hi mama can you wait a second come say hi come here This is the toy that she wants to play with right now. It's supposed to, I think this is supposed to be bubble gum. It came in like, um, it came in this little pack with like a lot. Did you see that? Look at how high she's jumping. It came in a pack with like a lollipop and like another, um, another toy that's kind of shaped like candy. So I think this is gum or it's supposed to be, but, um, I've decided y'all, I'm not buying Georgia no more toys. Like until like Christmas, um, I'm going to get her some new stuff for Christmas, but that's about it. Because she has so many toys, and especially when we had that Bark Box subscription. And it's just like, she just tears everything up. Look, say hey. Say hi, mama. She want to play so bad. Say hey. <laughs> Shout out to my subscriber, Danielle, because she um 
Remember I was telling y'all that I feel like Georgia is missing a nipple after she got her spay procedure? Um, Danielle suggested that I actually see like another vet for a second opinion. So I'm actually going to um, look into that this week because I know I'm concerned. But anyway, back to the unboxing. So here's my Skims packaging or my Skims box. So I'm going to make a boomerang first. Y'all know I like to start it off that way. Let me get up. Ooh, I be needing some leverage, child. Let me see. The light is over here. Not my phone, Diane. This is not the time for the phone to be dying, child. I don't like that one. This one's cool. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just make all the frames like I do, and then I'll um I'll upload it. That's cool. We can unbox it together. Okay, so I don't know what this little like y'all can't see that. This little like whatever this is around the stuff, but it's like a little sticker. So I'm just <laughs> trying to peel that apart. I should have put y'all on my um taller tripod so y'all could actually see. Cause I know y'all are like, girl, we don't know what you're doing. But um wow. I just I love it here <laughs> so here it is it's in another um, piece of packaging it says I am not plastic so I almost forgot what I ordered oh I ordered a few different things actually I ordered like a, a towel for my hair um, and I ordered the the two-piece set of course and then I got this little like neoprene I think that's how you pronounce the fabric this neoprene pouch um, I'm sure that'll come in handy, but let me take a picture of this. I think that this may be like a, I'm terrible. Y'all cannot see what I'm doing. <laughs> If you've tried skims before, let me know in the comments below. Like, I've watched, like, literally so many um, skims, try on hauls, unboxings, reviews, all that stuff. And everybody says, like, pretty, like, um, everybody has, like, pretty positive things to say about it. I've heard some people say, like, it's not really worth the money. But the majority of what I hear is that it is very, like... Um, like the quality is top tier so here is the towel and I ordered this y'all because I wanted free shipping and I was like maybe $12 away from it so I was like let me just like get something random I wonder how much this towel was I don't know if the price is on here on the packet slip so the price not on here but it helped me get to where I needed to be for um free shipping so this is just a microfiber towel which is cool i'm gonna use this this week because i gotta wash my hair y'all because i'm getting my hair done the silk press is tired it's time to let it go it's been three weeks so um yeah i'm washing my hair because i'm getting my hair braided on thursday so this is definitely gonna come in handy so i got this towel and then like i was saying the little neo the little neoprene um pouch it's just black and it says skims on it and I think this was actually like free with my purchase so this is what it looks like and I guess you just you know I'm I'm absolutely gonna find a use for this like I love little pouches especially for like travel and stuff like that so let's see what I got so I got the um trying to find the actual okay so I got the cotton rib boxer and the matching plunge bralette in rose clay i had to get this color because it's just it's so pretty to me um who did i see wearing this color i designed eight. Oh my goodness it's so pretty look at that oh i love it i love this color so those are the boxers i think i'm gonna be okay with extra small like looking at it i'm like that should work and then Georgia, what are you doing? <laughs> this is the 
I think this should be okay for me. This is the plunge bra. I like it because it's adjustable and then it also has like the different clamps on the back so you can, um, you know, adjust it for where you need it to be. But I think, I think I'm gonna be okay with this. This has like a mesh lining on the inside, you can see. But yeah, this is such a cute little set. Let me tell y'all why I also ordered this. I love that it says Skims right there. This is just so cute. This is my first Skims order ever. So like this is my first time actually seeing Skims in person. Like I haven't even gone to like Nordstrom or anything to see it. But I got this set because I wanted to do like a, um, look at me. I think I'm gonna try this on for y'all. I wanted to do like a staycation and um, I wanted something like cute to wear for my staycation, you know. So I was like, let me get me a Skims um, set and I think this is going to work. Like I do have like, I feel like my boobs are kind of, they're not big, but for my size and my frame, they kind of like, I wear like a 30D. Um, I think I'm gonna try this on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should shower first. Like, I should try it on later. Yeah, I'll try it on later because um, this is new and I've been out all day. So, I'm not just going to, like, throw it on. But, yeah, I'm going to finish doing this for my story real quick. And then um, I'll check in with y'all after. So, give me a few minutes. Okay, so the, um, what you call it? The unboxing is up on my story. I'm really just sitting here trying to figure out my life. Like, I have stuff to do, but I don't feel like doing any of it. What is up with my eyelashes? Give me a mirror. Um, I, I'm finna look at my camera. I have stuff to do, but it's like I don't I don't feel like doing any of it. Um, today really threw me off. I think not being able to work at the cafe today like I intended to kind of just like threw me off for real. I did get an oil change today, and I really needed to do that. So that's something that's scratched off my to-do list for this week um I have something really important I need to do for a client to turn that in for tomorrow but other than that I don't feel like working like I don't I have to cook tonight I took out some salmon make some teriyaki salmon tonight and some jasmine rice um I do need to go to the grocery store because I don't have any vegetables I went I'm going to go grocery shopping later this week, but I'm going to go run to get, like, some broccoli or something to eat um, tonight with my salmon and my rice. But, yeah, let me gather my life because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I literally have no direction. I don't feel like doing nothing. Like, I'm not motivated. Let me show y'all what I posted, though. So, this is the first um, frame that I put up, um, and then this is the second one. Like, that's it. And then I did this video... Uh oh <laughs> I did this video like do y'all ever just order stuff so you can get free shipping Is that so just to be interactive on my story because you know we're trying to increase our engagement all over the place so there's that but y'all are my favorite just to let you know y'all are my absolute favorite I feel like I should have been doing YouTube a long time ago like I did but it wasn't consistent I don't know what the problem is but you guys have done a very great job at making me feel very comfortable and like welcomed on this platform. So I feel like I can like be myself and be authentic and like create more on here. Maybe I am hungry. My stomach is like growling a little bit. Let me go get my life out. I'm gonna talk to y'all later, okay? Bye. Where'd you go? Um, listen, I don't know what it is, but I'm just not feeling today. I stayed up last night kind of late, like editing, but also, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. I tried a lip balm on Friday that I think I'm having a bad reaction to still to this day. And it's Tuesday. Um, my lips, like as soon as I put the lip balm on, it started to like tingle and I was like, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. So I was like, I'm not using this no more. But ever since then, my lips have felt entirely, they just, 
mm -mm. like they feel really tight and like dry like i don't know what it is like i don't know i took some benadryl just in case it is like an allergic reaction um or my my lips just don't like like one of the ingredients in the lip balm but y'all never again right now i just have on like my laneige like sleep mask which has i'm trying to like hydrate my lips but i feel like i need like a priva or something even though that's for cold sores I feel like I need something that's like, my lips look so weird to me. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I feel like I need something that's just gonna like penetrate my lips with hydration because I do not like the way they feel. I have a lip mask that I was gonna try to use, but I don't want that to make it worse. So I'm just like trying to figure this out. Um, as y'all can see, I made a smoothie this morning. It's like, I'm hungry, but I don't feel like cooking and my appetite isn't that big, so this smoothie should be good enough. Oh, I do put collagen in my smoothies. I feel like somebody might may ask, so I'm just gonna tell you about it. So this is the collagen I use. I get it from Care Of in my vitamin subscription, so yeah. But um, today is Tuesday, so I need to get with the program. Y'all know Tuesday is my busiest work day. I have two calls today, um, and I just have like some more work I need to finish before those calls. And then I'm going out tonight to the movies to see Zola. Um, my esthetician is having an event for her clients where she like running out the movie theater to go see Zola. So I'm really excited about that. So um, yeah, I just need to like get get it together, get my day started, take this bonnet off. Y'all know I got these two buns in my hair because I still I'm still holding on to my silk press. Okay, I have a I have a hair appointment Thursday to get braids, but this silk press will be in my hair until probably tomorrow. I'm probably gonna wash and prep my hair for my braids tomorrow, but yeah. So let me get into my day, child, because y'all know I need to get it together. <laughs> okay, y'all, so um, I know it's been a minute, but I filmed like a get ready with me because I'm about to go to the movies. So that's something to do. And I'll get a little bit of footage on my phone to put in this vlog. I promise this time I always be saying that, but I don't ever really do it. But I got it this time. So I will see y'all later. I'm finna go see Zola. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we are vlogging on my phone. I really want to invest in like a small vlogging camera soon, okay? Like I'm between the Canon Mark whatever and the Sony whatever, whatever. Both of those little vlogging cameras because I just want something like small that I can take because vlogging on my phone, it's fine but i just i know there's a difference in quality which i don't too much mind but the thing is my um my storage gets full so fast when i'm like making video content anyway so i think i'm here i ain't never been to this area before well i never been to this movie theater i didn't even know there was a movie theater over here so i followed the uh directions on the invitation so we'll see but i don't see anybody well i don't see kim my esthetician so i'm gonna just send her a text because she said we was gonna meet in the parking lot so um yeah <laughs> i found everybody um we have like a little designated parking area <laughs> so i text her and asked her like where everybody was or where they were and she said they're parked back here so we're gonna go in all at once i guess together in a group so um she is i thought y'all would be able to see where she was but she over there. So I'm gonna just sit in my car until I see everybody else kind of like getting it together, then I'll get out. But the sun is giving over here like, wow. <laughs> the same bitch that gonna come for you later, period. I told you not to um, go to Trader Joe's on a Monday, I mean on a Sunday. Y'all wanna know a story about how we just watched the movie? <laughs> oh my God, no, that movie was really good. We were trying to like, girl, let me take my mask off at this point. We was trying to like keep up with the thread. Like we found a link to the original thread while we were watching the movie, but so freaking good. I want I want to see it again. Me too. Like I want to watch it again. I'm, a, I'm going like I want to read the thread and then watch. Yes, it. so I can remember because it's been so long since I actually read it. But it was um, so trippy to like actually see like Twitter in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter yes. live on Broadway. <laughs> For real. But we finna go to Trader Joe's, so I'll meet you over there. Where, okay. Where'd you park? Girl, over here. I was just following you for the vlog. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm back home. I decided to stop at Popeye's. I was gonna cook, but I didn't feel like it. Um, 
so I'm about to, I just changed clothes, so my hair looked kind of crazy, but I'm about to eat, watch YouTube on the couch with Georgia while I do that, and yeah, I have um, a call really, really early in the morning, so I honestly need to go to, sh uh, go to sleep after I eat, but who knows, I'll probably still be up, but yeah, I will talk to y'all tomorrow, bye. Okay, y'all, so today is... Wednesday. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I have my AirPods in, but I am at Xander's working away from home because I got some stuff that I really need to get done. And I just need it to like get out of the house because otherwise I'm gonna just keep playing with Georgia and get my work done. But I'm gonna be here for a couple hours. It's a little later in the day, it's like 120, so yep. Okay, y'all, so um, I left Xander because I just, I don't know. It was a lot of people in there. I don't know what is up with me this week. Like, I really thought working from home was going to be, like, I mean, working away from home was going to be, like, my fits for getting things done. But I don't know. Like, I stayed for a, for a while, though. Like, it's 3.54, and I just left. So um, I'm actually headed to the mall. Not that I need anything, but I want to go to H&M because I saw this really cute little three-piece set. And two of the pieces are online, but there's one piece that isn't. Um, and I looked to see, and it said that it's in a store here, so I'm going to go to the Perimeter Mall. Pray for me, y'all. Y'all know the malls here in Atlanta are very, very dangerous <laughs> these days. So um, I'm going to go to H&M and see if they have it. I'm not going to go to Zara, even though I want to so bad. I'm going to be responsible. Well... I ain't being real responsible because I don't need to be going to the mall. But I want this outfit. So if they have the outfit, I'm going to get it and I'm going to leave. I'm going to get what I want and I'm going to walk out. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, there's traffic and it's kind of raining a little bit. I need to take this sticker off my windshield. That's for a uh, park to park at Stone Mountain. But um, let me focus on this road. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm at the mall. There is like a direct entrance into H&M, but I think it's closed. Oh, wait, no, it's open. So that's gonna help me um, <laughs> be focused today. Y'all, I don't know why I didn't put on those sneakers because it is absolutely raining out here and wet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy that there, um, the door is open so I can just go directly in because it'll keep me focused keep me from venturing off to Zara <laughs> specifically you know <laughs> Hey y'all, so it's been a few hours um, since I was on the camera, but I went to H&M as y'all know, and then, oh, it's dark over here, let me go back over here. Um, I went to the grocery store, so I finally went grocery shopping. I just cooked dinner. Um, I made salmon, squash, zucchini, and rice. So that's what I'm eating tonight. And then after I eat, I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up from H&M because they did not have what I went in there for, or they didn't have, this is a little bag, but I got maybe like four or five things. Um, they didn't have the three piece set. They had one piece and then another piece I'm gonna order online. Um, and then the other piece, I'm gonna wait for it to um, come back and stop. Georgia over there drinking coconut water. <laughs> I'm going to wait for it to come back in stock. But I got like some um, basics to add to my wardrobe. And I just want to show y'all what I got. So let me eat dinner. And then I will freshen up a little bit. I'm basically just wash my hands and probably brush my teeth. <laughs> and then I'm going to hop back on the camera and show y'all what I got from H&M. Mm. My goodness. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to show y'all what I got from H&M today. So let's start with, well, whatever is on top. So I bought these little like sweatshorts, I guess, cause like they aren't sweatpants, but they're like sweatpants material, but they're shorts. And I got these to go with um, those 
Amamanier, I think that's how you pronounce it, Jordans that I have, those Jordan 3s, because I like, have not worn, well no, I did wear them once, but um, I think that this color short would go really well with the shoes, because I need to wear them, like I spent too much money on them to not be wearing them, but yeah, I'll probably pair this with like a cute tee or something like that, I just wanted something like cute and sporty, you know, so grab these, and these were... $12.99 so there's those and they had them in so many colors y'all like so many I'll try to find the link and put it in the description box but literally like the table where they were like all the prettier colors like they had like a baby blue a pastel yellow this pink color those were like ran through but I wanted this it's like a stone kind of color um to go with the shoes so that's fine I'm happy with what I got and then this is one out of the three pieces to the outfit that I was telling y'all I wanted. So I'm going to put a picture of it on the screen. But these are, girl what? These are the shorts. They kind of look the same color as those last shorts. But it's like a little biker short outfit. I'm going to show y'all because where I saw this outfit to begin with was on um, My Epiphany. She had it on, on her story today. So I just wrote her and I was like... Girl, where is this outfit from? And she was like, H&M. So I'm going to see if I can show y'all. I'll put a picture up from the website, but this is from her story. So you can kind of see. You can kind of see. It's a boomerang, so I'm trying to like, I don't want to be a creep, but I'm going to just take a screenshot so I can show y'all. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's like a three-piece set. So she's wearing like the shorts and then there's like the little bralette. Then there's the little like shirt thingy that's over it, that's open. So the pieces that I have are this and I have the, the shirt that's open. I ordered it online, but the little bralette is still um, out of stock. So I signed up to get a notification once it's back in stock. Next thing I got, I promise y'all this is the last thing in this color. <laughs> it's this little like tank dress. Same little stone color. And yes, I bought this to go with the Jordans as well because I don't, I just don't have, I have clothes to match it, but I don't at the same time, if that makes sense. You know how you have stuff to wear, but you don't. But anyway, so I know I was just telling y'all in my um get ready with me that one of the best ways to like dress sneakers up in a, fem a feminine way is to like wear them with dresses. And so that's kind of like one of my go-to, but yeah. I felt like this would be like a really cute just like t-shirt dress. I don't know if it's going to be fitting or not because there is no waist cut in it. It's literally straight up and down like a pencil. But we'll see how it fits. And it's just that same like stone color. So yeah. And I didn't even tell y'all how much these were. This These shorts right here were $24.99. And that's what goes with the three-piece set. And then this dress was $17.99. So like I said, I'll try my best to link this stuff below. If you're interested, you can get it. But yeah, so there's the dress. And then I got two other things. I promise you that it's color, but it's the same thing. Both are tank tops. So I have this tank top in black and like a cream color. I actually wore the cream one already on my... um on my Instagram with these pants I got from H&M so I'll put the picture up on the screen but I got it in baby blue and I love the way that these are cut so they're cut like racer back in the front and in the back so kind of like did y'all see that dress I had on yesterday I think I had this orange dress yesterday it's actually right here this orange dress from Zara so the way that it's cut I really like this neckline on me it's cut like this in the front and in the back and so um whoop. and so yeah I was like huh they have baby blue so I grabbed the baby blue one and I grabbed it also in sage love these colors so much like I, I'm gonna be real I bought these tank tops for like filming purposes I was like huh if I do like sit down videos or anything like you want something like cute in a pop of color to like be up here on top so that's why I got these and they're $9.99 and like I said, I have these in two other colors as well. So, what you got to say? 
Yeah, so as long as they keep making these in like more colors, I'm gonna keep buying them because they're really cute and they're really comfortable. Like, why not? But yeah, so that's all I got from H&M today. Um, yeah, but y'all, it is 8.54. I have a couple things to do. I have a video going up tomorrow that I need to finish editing. Well, I'm actually done editing it. The only thing is that there was a copyright issue with the music, like 17 seconds of it, so I need to go back and fix that so that I can, you know, put that together. So I'm going to work on that and then um, try to, girl, girl, <laughs> try to go to bed because I have a... Um, a hair appointment tomorrow at like 1 30 so I gotta get up and like wash my hair I was gonna do it tonight but I just don't feel like going to bed with like wet hair you know and I added a blow dry to my appointment but I don't think she's gonna wash my hair I don't think I added the wash but oh let me show y'all these other things that I got recently so oh today I picked up the new Essence magazine with Jasmine Sullivan on the cover I'm not gonna lie, I really got, this is a beautiful cover, but I got this because it matches my feed and I'm trying to get out of this like little green, yellow situation I have. So I'm gonna try to take like a picture or something with this so that I can post it and just move on. Y'all, I really wanna like try to create a new aesthetic on my Instagram account. I'm not gonna be too hard on myself about it or like too like pressing about it, but I do want to like try to be a little bit more intentional about the things I'm taking photos of so that I can like incorporate a more cohesive situation. But then the other thing I want to show y'all are these mirrors from um, Ikea. I was about to say from Target, but no, these are from Ikea. I'm sure y'all have seen these. Try not to hit the light, but they are really, really pretty. Like I got these for like product pictures and stuff like that. I don't remember how much they were, but they were not expensive at all. Maybe like, I don't know, I don't think they were over $20, but they're super cute. They're like wooden at the bottom, gorgeous colors. Um, I will link them in the description box. Also, if you're interested, you can get those. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. And um, Georgia, I don't even know what she barking at to be honest, like it's so quiet in here. But yeah, I'm going to call it a night, and I will see y'all tomorrow. That's the site. Then at the next one, turn left. Y'all know my GPS is always yelling at me. But hey, today's Thursday. I just got my hair done, so I didn't vlog it because I made a separate video all about getting my hair done. So um, y'all will see that soon. Oh my gosh, y'all. So today's Thursday, like I said, um... I was at the hair salon for a long time and my hairstylist is like in Marietta so she's about 45 minutes um, away from me so it took me a long time at the light to get turn left onto Peachtree Street Northeast then take a slight right turn <laughs> sorry um, it took me a long time to get there and then like my hair appointment lasted um, for a while so Take a slight right turn. Now and I am about to, to meet my friend Arrive. Taylor at this super cute place called Sukoshi. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's like this little sushi spot. Matter of fact, it's in front of me. Let me show y'all. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Where the little pink letters are. So we are about to um, link up and eat and do some work. I think they have Wi-Fi. This area, I think it's called Colony Square, downtown Atlanta. This is my first time um, down here, but it's super cute from what I can see already. So um, yeah, I got some work I need to do. So that's why Taylor and I are linking up to just like get some stuff done. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in y'all, check in with y'all for the day. Y'all, my hair is so freaking cute. Like, I can't wait to show y'all when I get home. But I got, like, I think they, people call these jigsaw braids. And then the size sees people also call these um, glitch braids. I kind of like the idea of them being glitch braids. But let me see. I don't know if y'all can see. I'll insert a picture in case that wasn't a good representation. But again, like I said, I made a whole video getting my hair done so y'all will see that speaking of getting my hair done i put up a silk press vlog it's going live today at 6 it's 5 16 so it should be premiering 
very soon um, from when I got my silk press a couple weeks ago. So yeah. But yeah, um, I'm going to check in with y'all when I get into Sukoshi. I'm in the valet line right now because they don't allow you to park on your own, I guess. But I guess it's fancy out here. We doing valet. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm waiting on Taylor. She's like five minutes away, so because I valeted, I had to get out the car. <laughs> so I'm sitting um, outside of the place we're going to. I think it's called Sukoshi, I think. Sukoshi or Sukoshi, whatever. But it's so freaking cute out here. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. Um, first of all, oh, I see Taylor. She just pulled up. My bra straps are showing, and I'm typically opposed to exposed bra straps, but I don't know if it's because, like, I have on, like, a, this set from Her Distraction. So the pants are cream, and they go with this tank top, and then Her Distraction is written in brown. And then I have on, like, these little Gucci platform sandals. So I don't feel too, too bad, because my bra is fancy, okay, period. Like, she has on a Savage Fenty bra. It can be shown. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, let me show y'all how it looks out here. Because Taylor is about to, um, I see her paying for her parking now. So they have these cute little swinging, like, bed chairs or whatever you want to call them. And you walk over here. And I think this is a new movie theater. I hope y'all can hear me because I don't have my mic. But I'm assuming that's a restaurant. There's probably some shops and stuff out here, but it looks freaking beautiful from where we are i think this is a co-working space called spaces and then the restaurant taylor and i are going to is further up so i'll show y'all that in a second but it's really really cute i think i've seen this on tiktok this particular yeah. setup right here my friend was like i know that's not atlantic station i was like it's no, not when i seen this when I, seen, I was like this is so cute this like, is super cute like i gotta come over here and take some pictures one day right. it's taylor y'all say hey girl hey girl <laughs> she looks so cute in her mini skirt and her golden goose sneakers. Those are golden goose, right? Yes. I'm talking about. Look, I gotta make sure. I be knowing, but I gotta make sure. But yeah, it's really pretty. So we're about to go down to Sakoshi so we can work and talk, catch up. Like we didn't just hang out Friday. Right. Exactly. But things be happening. It be so much going on. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so cute in here. Yes, y'all. Look at this. So we got egg rolls, miso soup. Waiting for the others to come out and then we can show y'all. Taylor has yeah. never had raw sushi. So like, <laughs> I am not a stranger to sushi, okay? But I usually get it like fried or like cooked. I've never had raw, so y'all, I'm shaking my <laughs> So I feel like it's been a little minute since she's seen me, but um, I'm back home. Taylor and I went to Sephora after we left um, the Colony Square place, and I picked up a couple things. So it's kind of late, so it's dark. But I'm going to show you what I got. Georgia is running around. I literally only got three things, so I can just show you right here. So I picked up some more of these... Um, Dr. Dennis Gross, the like universal daily pills because when I got them during the Sephora VIB sale, I didn't use it every day. I used it like once every other week, but I really like how my skin looks when I use these. So I picked up some more. Um, and then I got this 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. So I have been considering getting my brows laminated, but um, my lash tech was telling me to try this product because it gives the same effect. So I got a mini one to try it out before I invest in like the jumbo size. And then I got 
a travel spray of Killian's I Don't Need a Prince by my side to be a princess because I wanted the full bottle, but the Sephora, they didn't have it. Um, so I just went ahead and got the little travel one because there's another perfume by Giorgio Armani I think I really want. It's called My Way. Tell me if y'all have smelled that particular fragrance. Like the bottle is so pretty. I'm gonna put a picture of the bottle up on the screen. It's so freaking pretty, y'all. I was just like, I need that. So I'm thinking about getting it. I didn't necessarily want to spend that money today on it. Um, the size that I want, well, they had a one ounce for like 76, but the size I want is a little bit larger than that. And it was like $100. And I just didn't feel like spending $100 today on top of buying this stuff. Because y'all know, y'all go to Sephora and get like two things and your total be like $1,000. <laughs> Not literally, but you know, you end up, you know, racking up easily in Sephora. Same with Target. But you end up with more stuff in Target. Anyhow. So yeah, I'm about to, um, it's so late. I feel so bad because she is pissed off at me. Georgia. She mad at me, y'all, because she been home all day. I feel so bad, but I'm about to um, spend some time with her, watch some YouTube, um, just kind of prepare for it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm so excited because I just need another. I need the weekend to come so I don't have to take any calls. I need a break from the calls. <sighs> and just worry. Even though I'm going to still be working, it's not going to be as, intense as it is like during the week so anyway i will see y'all tomorrow hey y'all happy friday finally friday i'm so happy because like i said i'm ready for the weekend um but yeah i just got ready for my day i'm wearing that like baby blue set that i showed y'all from that store i found out in avalon i think it's called american threads if i'm not mistaken but it's this really cute little like two-piece it's like, you can't see it. <laughs> Biker shorts and the little like bralette to match. And so I just put that on to like work in today. Um, Cause I honestly had been in like a weird mood between last night and this morning. And I was like, you know what? Take a really good shower, do some like end up skincare, a little bit of self care, you know, and put something cute on, make sure you smell good. So you can get your work done without feeling some type of way. So I'm about to try this, um, the brow product that I was telling y'all about yesterday by Benefit, the 24 hour um, brow setter. Is it gonna focus? There we go, this right here. So let's see if it does what they say it's gonna do. I guess I just brush my brows up. I have my mirror right here, so let's see. Well, it is for sure combing through my brows. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like I've actually used this before in the past because I love the Benefit Brow Pencils. Um, before I was using the minted ones, and y'all know I told y'all I, I used those because I got them in a PR package. Um, and I really like them. But before I was using that, I was using um, Benefit and... I think I actually have tried this particular product before. Okay, so it is giving the illusion of lamination, but now I don't know if I like it. That's why I'm glad I got the mini because like I'm able to try it. I don't know how I feel. Y'all see my eyebrows? <laughs> so you know I have a scar in this one. It happened when I was a kid. So it's been like that for the longest. I've just learned to like get ooh, wrong side, wrong, learned to get used to it. Um, but the thing is, I also don't get my eyebrows done very, very often because I just don't feel the need. Like I, I get them probably done maybe like every other month and I've now become a fan of getting them tweezed versus like threaded or waxed. But I just like fill it in based on what I need and it is what it is. Anyway, so today I'm going to do some work. I wrote down a to-do list in my notebook um, for work and some personal things. It's about, I'm trying to see how many items are on my to-do list. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. 
12 technically vlogging is on here but i'm vlogging so i'm just like 11 um update on my lips so told y'all that i have been having this issue with my lips so i've actually been using this bliss Tex medicated ointment i got it yesterday because i was gonna try a breva but when i was in the store i'm just gonna put some on when I was in the store, like, trying to get it, I only saw, like, the cold sore options. I didn't see, like, a, like a lip ointment or anything like that. I don't have a cold sore, so I went for something else. So I just got this medicated lip ointment, and it said that it's, it's going to work well for, like, extremely dry lips. So I think that's what I'm suffering from right now. Just dry lips, plus, like, a reaction from um the lip balm that I told y'all about. But I've been staying hydrated. Like, I've literally been drinking nothing but water. Um, just trying to, like, make sure I'm as hydrated as possible. Because that does lead to chat lips as well. But, yeah, y'all did my skincare routine this morning. Did my body care. I used the Fenty Body Butter. Y'all, it is literally everything. So, today I'm actually going to go get the Buff Rider, the new um, exfoliant scrub that she released today. But only if I get my work done by 5 o'clock. It's a reward to myself because I really don't need to be buying nothing. But I'm like, you know, if you get it done, go get it. <laughs> but then I'm going to um, also wear this perfume today because I just want to feel good. I told y'all. Uh, the Killian I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. Because I just, I want to feel and smell good. I'm going to go ahead and get to work because at this point I'm just rambling. And then I will check back in with y'all later this afternoon. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. I'm checking back in because it is now 4.39. And I've honestly not gotten a lot done. <laughs> um, my really good friend called me Krista. And we stayed on the phone for like two hours. <laughs> we stayed on the phone for about two hours, y'all. Like, <laughs> excuse me. I love Krista. She's one of the few people I really don't mind being on the phone with. I mean, I don't mind being on the phone with my friends. I don't like work phone calls, but she's one of the few people that I can just like talk to for hours and hours and hours and hours on the phone. So yeah, um, we were on the phone and then um, I looked at some emails for work and then I started watching Chelsea Janae's recent vlog um, and I'm just sitting here. So, um, it's raining so bad, y'all. It's lightning, lightning, whatever lightning. It's thundering. Um, the power has flashed twice. Georgia is not feeling it, so she has been barking a lot every time it thunders and um, the rain is kind of loud, so she's not having that. I got some stuff going in the washing machine and the dryer. I'm currently washing my sheets. I wash my sheets every weekend, by the way, or at least I try to. If it's not the weekend, it'll be like sometime during the week, but the sheets get washed, okay? The sheets and the covers and the blankets and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, I think I am still going to go ahead and order. I'm going to do an order for the Fenty um, scrub. I'm going to just do like an order and store pickup so I don't have to go in Sephora and do all that stuff. But I do want the scrub like I want it now. <laughs> so I'm still going to get it. Um, and then I still got some shrimp so I can make like a salad later just like a shrimp salad so I'm just gonna do like spinach shrimp red onions and some strawberries usually add avocado but I didn't get an avocado when I went to the grocery store the other day and I'm not going today like I do not feel like going to the grocery store so there is that but I've been sitting here y'all literally at my desk on the phone with Krista and then See, I ain't really doing that. Um, I feel like I've done a lot this week. You know, I've worked. I filmed a try on haul. I filmed a get ready with me. I went to the movies. I hung out with my friend Taylor yesterday. I went to Sephora yesterday. <laughs> Going back to Sephora this evening later. Um, yeah, like, I got my hair braided. Finally done with the silk press. We got these new glitch braids, you know. So, yeah, I really wish I had something more eventful to share with y'all, but right now I just don't. <laughs> so forgive me, forgive me, but you know, this is my life. So, yeah, quick update on Georgia. 
I did schedule for her to go to a different vet's office um, to get, hey mama, uh oh, you heard that? My neighbors upstairs be wilding, y'all. I don't know what. It's not like they be just dragging furniture back and forth. One end of the apartment to the other end of the apartment. But, um, yeah, I got her an appointment for Wednesday to get a second opinion on her missing nipple. Um, so, we'll see. It's the same office. She goes to Thrive. So, it's the same It's the same franchise, but it's a different office and a different doctor at a different location. And the reason I did that is because the exam is free because I pay for her. Um, we have, like, a some sort of membership where I pay, like, $10 a month. And Georgia is able to go get free exams whenever, whatever. If she has medication or a procedure or like a vaccine or something I do have to pay for that and it's like a discounted rate but as far as just getting that looked at I'm gonna just let her do that see what they say but in terms of switching her doctor all together I um, have looked up some black owned vets office offices here in Atlanta so I'm gonna check one of them out um, just to see if we can switch her care over to them instead of Thrive because oh my gosh this missing nipple is truly sending me y'all but yeah, I will come back to let y'all know if I get the scrub. No, I'm going to get the scrub. I'm going to get the scrub. So what I'll do is um, go pick it up and then I'll unbox it and unpackage it and everything. I just put the product in my cart oops, on the Sephora app and it's online only for ordering. Uh-oh, you can't see that. So it's online ordering only. I can't pick it up in the store. So I'm going to call the store that's near me and see if they have it. And if they do, I'll just go um, buy it in the store. I was just trying to order online and pick it up. It's in the store, but I can't order for store pickup. Whatever. Um, so yeah, child, let me call my Sephora real quick and see if they have it. I think this is the location. Hey Francesca, I was calling to see if the um, Fenty Buff Rider was still in stock in your store. Um, which one was it? Is it the you said the like the scrub? Yeah, the new scrub. Yeah, we have some available. Do you want me to put one aside for you? Yes, can you please? I'll come get it before you guys close. Yeah, what's your uh, first name? You can put it under Janae, or yeah, Janae is fine. Perfect. All right, that'll be up at the register for you whenever you get here, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Of course. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, well, I couldn't order it, but thank you. Can I have this? Georgia is trying to play with my lens cap. No, ma'am. First of all, she's at my desk, y'all. Look. <laughs> um. But, yeah, so I'm going to go pick it up since they have it at the counter I have until 9 so I'll probably it's not raining right now I feel like I should go now y'all want to go to Sephora let's go to Sephora okay y'all so we made it to Sephora and I'm parked right in front of the store which is a sign I always take that as a sign <laughs> I'm gonna record or try to record while I'm in there but y'all know Sephora low-key be tripping about like vlogging and stuff inside the store so we'll see what I can do I feel like my lashes are like not lasting that well this time for some reason but yeah let's go ahead and go in Sephora get this stuff and come on out I just realized that I forgot a mask at home I thought I had some in my car but I guess not um this Sephora is like optional to wear it or not but you know for my own sake I wanted to have one but where are my keys I'll just run in and come right back out. My stuff is at the registry anyway, so. Oh, All right, Fenty by Friday has been secured. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm back home. The sun came out, like it stopped raining and it's like beautiful outside. Um, Back from Sephora, I have a few things I wanna show y'all because I had ordered some stuff and it came in the mail so you know i stay putting my address in the camera so let's do a quick unboxing okay so first we're gonna go ahead and get into this um 
Fenty Buff Rider. So, as y'all know, the packaging is in a tube like this. It is six ounces. Six ounces. It's foliating body scrub. It has. What are you doing? Can you get off my packaging, girl? I'm trying to find the ingredients to let y'all know what's in it. There's sunflower, shea butter, and a bunch of other stuff that I cannot pronounce. But um, let's see how it's. Oh, the seal is actually still on it. And I just washed my hands, by the way. So, let's see. Oh, it smells good. I'm not going to squeeze any out um, just because I don't want to use it quite yet. But um, I like that the exfoliant is in like a squeeze tube because my, what I typically use, it comes in like a jar and I don't like that it gets under my nails. That's just the thing with me. So I cannot wait to try this. I'm going to try it tonight when I take a shower. Um, and I'll let y'all know how it is. But I did get the body butter. I showed it in my last vlog, but I'm going to show y'all again. This is the body butter, which also smells really good. Like, it's thick. Like, look, I'm holding it upside down, and it's not even coming out. That's how thick it is. But I just feel like these are going to be, like, a pretty dope pair together. Like, I love that Fenty skin has gone over into body because I think a lot of people focus on skincare and forget that like your body is still skin, still skincare, you know. So the next thing is from um, Shop Girl Next Door, which is a black owned boutique I introduced to you guys a few vlogs ago, owned by Sanaya. I love Sanaya, she's so dope. But um, I love this brand. They have like such cute chic everyday wear. But she had a 4th of July sale and um, I decided to, whoop, Georgia is spinning the chair. Um, I decided to, you know, shop. And I got this really cute top. I didn't even know it was this material. This is real cute. I'll put a picture on the screen so y'all can see how it looks on. But it's this really pretty shade of green. I've been into these really soft but bright colors lately. So like this green, this baby blue. Look at my bra, my bra thing showing. Like this green, this baby blue. Um, I have a few like yellow pieces and like this like peachy top that I have over here. Like soft colors I really like. So this top is cute. It feels like um, terry cloth, like a towel. I think they call it toweling material. Um, but yeah. And then I feel like there's something else in here. There's something in here. Oh, it's just my pack of sleep. And a thank you card. Wait, wait, wait. Something else in Georgia grabbed it. Oh, a sticker for her brand. Yeah, this is super cute. I'm going to keep that. And then um, there's just a, a thank you card. So, yeah. I love it. I still don't even know why I um I got these. But, I don't know. I mean, I was feeling funky. But let me show you what they are. <laughs> this is a pair of shorts. Hmm. They smell weird. Do not judge this purchase, y'all. Okay, wait. Let's see. Let's take this out. So it's from the brand. I think it's called Char Room. Char Work Room. So this is their thank you card. It has their logo on the front. And then it says thank you on the back. Let's see. What else is in here? Packing slip. Okay. It's wrapped pretty. I actually want to like make some content with it, so I'm not going to open it right now. But before I show this to y'all, y'all probably already seen it on the screen. Don't judge me. I know these are edgy, but I feel like I can pull these off. So these are the shorts. I know, right? Don't even say nothing. But I bought these to wear on my birthday. I want a pair um, of those, like, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I think, I know her first name is Amina. I think her last name is Muadi, Madi, or something like that. But um, she makes those really cute shoes. Like, the ones I have my eye on are these right here. For, like, a birthday look. Y'all, I'm terrible. Trying to show y'all stuff that you obviously cannot see. My goodness. Anyway, so like the shoe, this is a a similar pair. So not this pair in particular, but 
a shoe similar to that for my birthday with um, these shorts and I have to find like a really pretty blouse because I have to like make it make sense so that's my moment for the day but yeah y'all I'm finna um, cook because I'm hungry and figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of my eating tomorrow is a really big content day for me I have planned out to make some reels and film a skincare video and take some pictures so I'm gonna get up like really early to like start my day and, and do it all and I also have to edit the vlog that's going up on Sunday which is a weekend vlog so I got I could you know what that's what I'm gonna do tonight I'm gonna start editing my weekend vlogs because tomorrow I want to shoot content all day. I want to take advantage of my braids this time because last time I had my silk press, I barely did. I didn't do what I wanted to do with it. Mostly because of the weather. It really threw me off because I wanted to like take pictures and stuff outside, but it was raining so much and then it was just like humid, so it was going to ruin my hair, just ruin the vibe. So there's that. But let me go eat. Um, It's 7.51, y'all, and I'm really just on here rambling. All right, y'all, so I was in the middle of cooking. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the power has been flashing on and off over here, I guess, because of the storm or whatever. But in the middle of me cooking, the power went out twice, and I'm just, like, over it. So um, it's back on now, as you can see, but I just washed the dishes that I was using, and I'm about to go to Chick-fil-A and just get something to eat because I don't feel like dealing with it. Because if the power goes out again and I'm in the middle of, like, cooking, it's like I can't, I can't properly make my food if there's no power. So... I'm going to just go to Chick-fil-A for the night. I will try to cook again tomorrow. So we'll see. We will see. <laughs> I know it is so dark and y'all can probably not see me, but um, I have Georgia with me. So I'm headed to Chick-fil-A. They close at 10, I think, and it's 923. So I have some time. Ma'am, ma'am, I got a little bit of time. So I'm not being super disrespectful by going at like 945 or 950 or nothing like that. So just gonna pull up real quick and get something to eat because I was really looking forward to that salad but what what mama <laughs> but I can't deal with the power um flickering on and off I don't think it's gonna go off again tonight hopefully not come here mama come here but I think she just want to look out the window <laughs> but um that's exactly what she want to do but it's late and I don't have time to be in the kitchen playing Georgia hates when I'm at the um, speaker to order. She be barking and carrying on. Can I help you? Um, hi, may I have a number two, please? Spicy sandwich or spicy deluxe meal? Just a spicy sandwich meal. I live right up the street from Chick-fil-A, y'all. This is so, like when I moved um, to Atlanta or to Georgia, whatever, because I live in Decatur. I don't necessarily live in Atlanta, but you know what I mean. When I moved here, um, this is literally the closest I have ever lived to a Chick-fil-A and um, a Target. Back home in Jacksonville, Target was literally on every side of town but the side of town I lived on, so I used to have to travel for it. Same thing with Trader Joe's. I used to, like, it was at the beach, which is probably, it was maybe, like, 30 minutes away from where I lived. So, like, this is just the close. It was not, like, a convenient situation here we are talking in the dark again y'all I'm gonna I'm a talk to y'all when I get home <laughs> what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the darkness um I have never lived this close to like all my favorite things like I live pretty close to Sephora I live pretty close to Target as well as Publix um Chick-fil-A Zaxby's like all that stuff used to just be like a little further away from me when I lived back home in Florida so it's just, you thirsty? It's just nice to be, you know, in closer proximity to the stores and like the restaurants and stuff that I typically enjoy. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog. Today's Friday, so we made it. Another Monday through Friday vlog. The dedication is real, like I always say. I try to cook for y'all again, but the power is being very, uh, but yeah, me and Georgia are going to curl up on the couch, light a candle while I eat my food and um, <clears throat> either watch some YouTube or watch some Netflix. Oh, I need to catch up on Run the World. 
that comes on on stars let me know if you watch that run the world with the four best friends i like love that show the fashion is everything in that show but yeah y'all i'll see y'all in my next video thank you so much for watching don't forget ooh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's so light i'm so sorry about this light but thank y'all for spending yet another week with me i'm just moving on i mean i'm just rambling <laughs> i'll talk to y'all later bye